Good day kids, this is teacher Rubin in Dipandinuela and welcome to my mathematics class. The topic that we're going to discuss for today are the following. The first one is identifying and describing triangles and the second one is identifying and describing quadrilaterals. At the end of the lesson, you're expected to identify and describe triangles according to sides and angles. But first, let us first know the meaning of a triangle. A triangle is a polygon or plane figure with three sides and three angles. A triangle can be grouped according to its sides and according to its angles. So what are the triangles according to sides? We have the equilateral triangle, the isosceles triangle, and the scalene triangle. The equilateral triangle is a triangle that has three equal sides. From the word equal, all of the sides of an equilateral triangle are equal. So we have here our example. The first side is 14 centimeters, the second side is 14 centimeters, and the third side is 14 centimeters. As you can see, all of the three sides are equal or are the same. Therefore, this is an equilateral triangle. The second triangle according to its sides is an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle has two equal sides. This is an example of an isosceles triangle. The first two sides are equal. They both have 14 centimeters, while the third side is 8 centimeters. This is an isosceles triangle because only two sides are equal. The next one is the scalene triangle. A scalene triangle has no equal sides. This is an example of scalene triangle. It's a measurement of the first side is 14 centimeters, the second side is 18 centimeters, and the third side is 8 centimeters. As you can see, there are no equal sides. Therefore, this is a scalene triangle. Let us go to the kinds of triangle according to angles. We have the right triangle, the obtuse triangle, and the acute triangle. The right triangle has a right angle which measures 90 degrees. As you can, as you can remember, a right angle measures 90 degrees. So, when we have a right triangle, this has a right angle which measures 90 degrees. Let us look at our example. So, there's a right angle that measures 90 degrees. The second one is the obtuse triangle. An obtuse triangle has obtuse angle which measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. So this is an example of an obtuse triangle. As you can see, there is an obtuse angle which is 110 degrees, not more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. And then we have the acute triangle. An acute triangle has acute angle which measures less than 90 degrees. As you can see in our examples, all of the measurement of the angles are less than 90 degrees. Therefore, this is an acute triangle. So again, triangles can be grouped according to its sides and according to its angles. The kinds of triangles according to sides is an equilateral triangle. Again, an equilateral triangle, all sides are equal. Isosceles triangle, only two sides are equal and the scalene triangle, no equal sides. What are the kinds of triangles according to angles? We have the right triangle, the obtuse triangle, and the acute triangle. Now let us go with our second topic, which is identifying and describing quadrilaterals. Our objective is identifies and describes the different kinds of quadrilaterals, the square, rectangle, parallelogram, trapezoid, and rhombus. So let us first define what is a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a polygon or plane figure with four sides and four angles. So this is an example of a quadrilateral having four sides and four angles. So what are the different kinds of quadrilateral? We have the rhombus, the parallelogram, the rectangle, square, and trapezoid. Let us first discuss what is a rhombus. A rhombus has two pairs of parallel sides and all its sides are equal. This is an example of a rhombus. All of its sides are equal and it has two pairs of parallel sides. So this is the first pair of parallel sides and this is the second pair of parallel sides. How about parallelogram? 
A parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides and its opposite sides are equal. This is an example of a parallelogram. This is the, the first pair of parallel side and the second pair of parallel sides and its opposite sides are equal. How about rectangle? Rectangle is a parallelogram that has four right angles and its opposite sides are equal. This is an example of a rectangle. Next is the square. A square is a parallelogram that has four right angles and all sides are equal. This is a square, all sides are equal, and it has four right angles. And then we have the trapezoid. A trapezoid has only one pair of parallel lines. So this is the first pair of the parallel lines. Again, that is the different kinds of quadrilaterals. Thank you so much for listening and see you on my next video.